My name is Brooklyn and I'm going to be taking you on a virtual field trip to Raybach Construction. This, welcome to Breitbach Construction in El Rosa. This company has been working, has been in my family for over 80 years. Well, my great, -grand, great grandpa started the company. We started out building houses. And since 1968, we've been building commercial buildings by schools, churches, banks, and Walmart. Hi guys, this is the office. Come on, let's go take a look. Hi, first graders, welcome to Brink Rock Construction in Alrosa. Our company was started in 1938 by my great grandpa. This is my great great grandpa. He passed it down to my great grandpa, and he passed it down to my grandpa, and, he, and my grandpa passed it down to my dad. And someday my picture might be on this wall. This is my dad's office. He is a safety director and he is a general superintendent. In our office in Alrosa, we have seven people that work here. And at our job sites, we have 35 full-time employees. So I, my job is to make sure we have enough workers on each of our job sites, make them run smoothly. And then as a safety director, I make sure they're following all the safety rules so they can go home to their families every night. This is the plan room. This is where we keep all the blueprints for the projects that we're going to build. This is the blueprint for our elementary school. My dad is going to be working on this in the fall. So a blueprint is made by the architect. Once they distribute all to the contractors, then they use these to learn how to bid the project and to put the building together. We have plenty of other people that work in the office as well. We have estimators who bid the projects that we build. We have project managers who run the projects from the office. And we have accounting staff who they take care of the money. Come on, let's go look at the shop. This is where the mechanic works. He works in the shop. It takes a lot of the equipment to operate our company. So we have one person that all he does is maintain and fix equipment. Now we're outside in the yard where we store our extra equipment and materials. Most of our job sites have all of our equipment out, so there's not much around here. To operate a construction company, you need a lot of equipment and materials. Now we're on one of Breitbach Construction's job sites in Albany, Minnesota. This is a utility project. So what that means is we are replacing the storm sewer. When it rains, all the water on the road goes into a drain and that goes into the storm sewer. So all that's to be replaced. And we replace all water lines to all the houses. And the last thing was the sanitary sewer, which that's where all your poop and pee goes when you go to the bathroom. <laughs> Every time we're at a job site, we need to wear the proper safety equipment. We use our hard hats for protecting our head and our safety glasses for protecting our eyes. We wear these bright colored reflective vests so the operators of equipment can see people when they're walking around the job site. This piece of equipment is a loader. We use it on our job sites to move material with this big bucket. Let's go take a drive.
excavator. Sometimes people call it a backhoe. We use this to dig holes to put all the storm and sanitary sewer in the ground. Just uh, level out piles of dirt. shows what the church is going to look like. It should be finished in September. And behind you can see how far we are. Even though it's warm outside, there are still heaters in the inside to keep it warm and to keep the humidity down so the sheetrock tape can cure out. These are pieces of wood 
and they're wrapped with plastic so they don't get wrecked while they're finishing the project. All the wood frame walls will eventually have sheetrock on them like the rest of the ceiling. There is plastic on these windows to keep the heat inside until the glass windows get installed. These pieces of equipment are called scissor lifts. They're safer than ladders, so workers use them when they're working really high up in the air. My dad is going to be working on our school in the fall. Thanks for following along. Have a good, good summer. summer.